20 years ago, I decided to get into the, um, what used, people used to tell me was the redneck hillbilly RV business, <laughs> which now everybody wants to have a piece of. Right. Um, I use acquisitions as a, as a, a weapon of leverage. Um, I know that the more that I can control the marketplace and the more that I can grow my market share, there's this really bizarre scalable thing that happens both on the top side and on the margin side. There is no benefit, and I hope this doesn't conflict with you. You know what, there, if it does, it's totally cool. Okay, good, we'll talk about gonna, it. I hope it does then. Uh, there is no benefit, you don't buy toilet paper cheaper and get your you know, phone lines cheaper when you uh, consolidate businesses. This idea that you're gonna like get these economies of scale, you remember that? They're was like almost a, never realized, this, merger synergies. Well, right? well I, uh, these economies of scale, it was like a 1980s term. Yes. In fact, I would make the argument that shit gets more expensive mm -hmm. because our ability to control those small little things almost dissipates because we're worried about growth and not about the little things. What happens is, our ability to control the marketplace with the consumer, particularly on the digital side, our ability to create products and services that are proprietary to us and disseminate them to a larger scale are bigger, and our ability to negotiate with our vendors because they become more reliant on us because they sold the same amount of products and services to the marketplace before, but if we become a larger consumer of their stuff, they become more reliant on us, and I don't want to be um, punitive I'm not trying to hurt anybody, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to extract value. And my counter argument to them is, I want a better deal on X because you're gonna get a better deal on servicing one customer instead of 10. So if I consolidate 10 people, you need less reps, you have less credit risk, you have less communication expense, and you can talk to one person. Mm -hmm. I want you to enjoy those savings but you're not getting all of them. Right. I'm getting some of them too. And so as you think about scaling, the reason that scaling in a like-minded industry is because you want to have like-minded vendors or like-minded consumers in that, that's where I believe you get scale.